Right, so let's start the wire up. I'm going to go for... Let's put this in here like this. Seems okay. Then I'll just push the Reacts module in uh, up with its back facing towards me so I can see the labels. Then we want VDD to 3.3 volts because it's a 3.3 volt device. In fact, I'm just going to move the Arduino back one more like that. That's better. So I've got a bit more space here because there's going to be an LED going there. Then I'm going from ground of the Reacts module to ground on the Arduino. Then over here, we want to go from TX to RX of the, um, the Reacts module. But you can't really do that with a wire because this is 5 volts, not 3.3. And the Reacts module is not designed for 5 volts. So I'll create a simple voltage divider. So I'll go from TX to RX using a 5K resistor. Then I'm going to go from RX to ground using a 10K resistor. And basically what that does is if you get the 5 volts at one end and 0 volts at the other end, 5 volts drops across the entire load, which is the two resistors. And because this load here represents one third of the total load between the two resistors, then the voltage at that point will be a third of whatever this is, which is 5 volts. And therefore, at this point in the middle where the two resistors join, that will be around about 3.3 volts. So essentially that's how that works. Then we're going to go from the TXD of the Reacts module, which is there, to RX. And we don't need a divider there, of course, because the Reacts module is 3.3 volts, and the Arduino can easily handle 3.3 volts. And it's high enough for it to be able to distinguish an, uh, a logic high or logic low. So that's cool. Um, so we're, we're done as far as that is concerned. Now we've got the LED and the resistors. So with the LED, you of course do need resistors, and the reason being is because if you don't, you could potentially damage one or the other device. So this is only meant to handle a certain amount of amperage, and if it pulls too much, it will burn the resistor out. And likewise, this is the same. This is only meant to handle a certain amount of amperage. Um, therefore, I'm going to put this in here, so the R, G and B have got their own parts of the breadboard. I've got the LED in just like that. Okay, well I'll just put that that way so you can see it properly. And now, I've got these resistors and there's a whole host of different values that you could use and you'd be okay with, with many different values but I'm going to use this, it's 180 ohms, something like that. You could probably get away with, um, I don't know, 100 ohms up to maybe about 3 or 400 ohms, I don't really know. But these are 180 ohms. So I've got D7 going to uh, the first pin, which is probably, I don't know, RGB, maybe it's red, but maybe it's blue. Um, and then I'll have the next one going from D8 to the middle pin and I'll have the next resistor going from D9 to the end pin if I can get that in there we go so that's the wire up complete and I'll just show you again got three resistors there hopefully you can see that there's the Bluetooth module on the left the nano the voltage divider etc and there's of course one more thing which I almost forgot. And you can see the LED is on this uh, rail here, the ground rail, the cathode. And of course we need to connect that as well. So on the ground rail I'll go from there to ground. And uh, that's everything. Okay, so now to install this app. What I've done is I've just sent myself a link. And you could use any any social media. I'm using Google Hangouts here, but I sent myself the link anyway via my PC because I have the link by email. Um, you could probably go onto YouTube and click in the uh, description of my video and probably get the link that way, but whatever. Uh, click on the link and then when it opens up you should see two, uh, two different items. So go to this RYB APK. This is if you're using Android by the way. And if you're using iPhone or something different, then you might have to find a, a slightly different app. Um, there is one recommended, but I'll, I'll try and write it in the comments if I remember. Anyway, so go to download, so download the APK. And this is the application for Android, of course, so download. 
and then open and then when it's uh, when this comes up just press install uh, your screen might be slightly different because I'm actually reinstalling there because I've already installed it before of course but just go through all these uh, or go through this wizard until you've installed it so it says app installed open and there we go that's as far as we need to be for the time being Right, now I'm going to talk you through the code uh, in order to get this thing to work. So, I'll just move this microphone one second. Okay, here we go. The first thing we'll need to do is define the three LED pins. So, uh, define uh, R pin, and that's going to be pin 9. Then we need to do the same for 7 and 8. So, 8 and 7, green and blue. Okay, so we've got a reference to those pins now. We need to also hold the state of the, the pins. So if it's off, we need to remember that it's off. There's actually another way of doing this, but it's easier to do it this way. So we'll just say bool um, r state equals false. And technically, you don't have to say false either, but it makes it a little bit simpler. So r g B. So that's so we can remember the state of the um, of each LED because you could have two LEDs on at once and whatever, and you just want to remember it. Anyway, so in setup we want to set, uh, set up serial. So serial dot begin nine six zero zero. Now with this Rayax module, uh, this particular one, it's set default uh, to be nine thousand six hundred uh, the board rate, and you can configure it and whatever else to be other things. Um, but why would you want it really? I mean, usually I use 115200, but you know, 9600 in this case it, it will do. So serial dot set timeout um, and then 10 milliseconds. This is basically just something I put in to, to prevent it from crashing. Um, the timeout has to do with uh, how long it waits for serial basically. The next thing we need to set the pin mode. So pin mode after three pins, but we'll start with the red pin. Um, the pin is an output, so we'll say output. The pin is an output, then again R G B. So we set the three pins as output pins. Um, is there anything else we need to do in the setup? Mm, not really. So we've we've got the states, we've defined the pins, we've set up serial. And um, we've told Arduino that those pins are going to be output pins. Okay, that seems about right. So now we need to look at the loop. And um, and I've got to think about how I'm going to do this. Um, certainly we need to say if, if there's any data available. So if um, serial dot available, if there's serial available, then do something. Let's just do control T. I might as well save this as well, actually. Um, what would this be called? LIB 080i. So if the serial available, in other words, if the Rayax module has got something to say to us, then um, then what? Well if it says if it's saying red to us, then we need to turn the red LED on or off. So the first thing we need to do is, is set a string. Hang on a second. So String uh, str equals serial dot read string. So let's get the string that it's given to us, or in other words, let's find out what it's saying to us. Then we want to say something like, um, if the string contains red, then then basically digital write the opposite of the current red state. So how do we say that? We're going to say if the string index of basically index of is, is like um, contains for those of you who are programming C sharp you have you can have string dot contains and then a string but strud index of is a similar thing it basically instead of saying does it contain it's saying give me the position of and if there's no position then the answer is minus one anyway so string dot index of red if the position is greater than minus one then it means it's in there so red 
So if the index of a string red is greater than minus one, then it's in there. So that's that. Um, in fact, there's not much point in copying that at the moment. Then we want to say, okay, it said red, so now we want to change the state to the to whatever it's not. It's boolean as well, so it's either true or false. So our state equals not whatever it currently is. Okay. So if it's true, then our state equals not true, or if it's false, our state equals not false, which is true. A bit confusing maybe, but there you go. They want digital right. Digital right. Digital right means um, basically turn the LED on or off. And we want digital right. Our pin. And we want to write the current state, which is either on or off, high or low, um, one or zero, or whatever. And then, right. So we're receiving data from the phone. And if we receive red, then turn the LED on or off. But we also want to send a message back to the phone, don't we? And also that shows you that the that Bluetooth is bi-directional, that, that the phone can send data to the Arduino and the Arduino can send it back. So we're going to have to say something like serial dot um, print or print learn. I'm not exactly, I think it's probably print. So serial print um, red is red is um, leave it like that for a second we want the state. So we've recorded the state. So red is um, we could do that but it will return I think it will return 0 or 1 which isn't particularly nice. So let's do um, if it's true then on. Otherwise off. That's a bit better isn't it? And also it might complain, so we'll cast that as a string. That should work. So before I uh, copy and paste that a few times, let me just make sure that it compiles OK and there's no obvious errors. Yeah, done compiling. So, so if it says red, then do that. Um, else if, and I've just pasted it, else if again, and then all I have to do is just change these. So if it's red, green, whoops, green, 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 green. That's so lazy, isn't it? But oh well. So red, green, and blue. Blue. And this is B state, B state, B state, B state. B state and blue is. Um, and that looks good to me. Anything else? Um, let's just double check this. So we've got loop. So if there's any serial data from the phone, let's see what the serial data is. If it contains red, then update the current state, write the state to the uh, basically drive the LED on or off a message back to the phone to say whether it's on or off and then the same for other colors ah we're going to need a delay as well um, just to help it out just in case so we'll have a delay of one millisecond between each each repetition so that's sh that should be it so I'm going to try and upload that now and see what it does now there's something you'll need to do at this point you'll need to take away the RX pin from the Arduino. So if you've got your RX pin plugged in, take it out now, yeah? Because it will interfere. Uh, done uploading. Um, now there's no serial console, like I said before, because it makes it a little bit complicated. However, um, it seems to have uploaded no problems. And I'm going to try it out now. Alright, for this scene, I've. Um Turn the lights off. I've also um, put something over the window so that we can uh, get it dark, so that the bulb or the LED glows a little bit better. So, right, Rayax BLE UART connect 
select the device it's like obviously that one so now I'll just write a message I'll write um, red so red oh, and all of a sudden uh, the sun has come anyway red then I'll turn red off so red off and you can see in the display here it says red RX red is on red is off which is what we programmed the Arduino to say from a brightly so let's try green green on green off and blue and blue blue off that's good and now we'll try all of them on so red on green on and blue on so there we've got red green and blue on and now we'll just turn them off so red off green off and blue off and uh, and that's it so that's a very very basic demonstration on how to use Bluetooth uh, specifically use this uh, Rayax module here which again is very good uh, Rayax always give great modules uh, very good quality ones so there is a very quick and easy tutorial on how to get started with Bluetooth and in particular get started with Bluetooth for Arduino and um, to be even more precise how to get started with this Rayax module and this is a great Rayax module um, once again it's called RYB080i and uh, just like the other Rayax module it's very good anyway so um, as usual thank you for watching and goodbye Throughout this um, this video, I've been saying that you can configure the module and all this sort of stuff. But in the video, we've not needed to configure it. But I thought I'd just highlight this documentation because you can actually configure things a lot more than um, than what I've shown in the video. So, for example, if you wanted to communicate directly with the microcontroller, or sorry, the um, microcontroller on board the Rex module. You can actually do it this way. You can um, you can wire it directly into a, a UART and plug it into your PC, and you can send it AT commands. So if you send it like AT, well, sometimes you have to you have to uh, enter a character before that. So A enter, for example, to wake it up. You can actually send it these. So AT uh, checks to see if it responds. You can reset it with simple commands like this. You can change its name, and you can do various other things. Um, which I, I won't go into a lot of these, but um, you can do a whole load of other different things like configure um, power saving mode, uh, broadcasting, the UART board rate, which I did mention. You can actually change it here, look, 115200, which is what I usually use. Um, you can use a whole lot of uh, different configurations, and it's really powerful. So yeah, in the video I didn't actually use these, but um, but they're there, you know, and and it's highly configurable. I just thought I'd show you that.